This floor is filled with 3.5 million airsoft BBs. And that means you can glide around like you're in space, because it's even way more slippery than ice. That's right, welcome back to year two of Camp Crunch Labs. What the heck is Camp Crunch Labs, you ask? Camp Crunch Labs is like a virtual summer camp. And if you do it along with me, I'm giving out a Mark Rover guarantee that this will be the least boring summer of your whole entire life. So here's the deal, it's two parts. Part one is this first video you're watching right now. There'll be 12 episodes total released every week on Saturday morning. Now we're gonna switch off and half of these videos will be mega experiments and they'll get bigger and bigger as the summer wears on. And the other half of these videos will be live streams where I'll be interacting with you guys and reviewing your at-home super challenge submissions and picking my favorite ones, which is honestly so difficult and arguably harder than putting a rover on Mars. Last year, we had at-home super challenges like make the best pillow fort or the best trick shot or the best indoor mini roller coaster or shadow art or even house of cards. So if I review your video in the live stream and it's one of my five favorites, then not only will we send you a coveted signed Camp Crunch Labs patch with some other signed swag as well, but more importantly, you're now qualified to earn this platinum ticket to come out here to Crunch Labs for the final episode where we'll harness the power of science to obliterate this backyard even crazier than last year. including, by the way, our brand new Fort Nuts Treehouse. So be sure to watch to the end of this episode where I'll give you the very first at-home super challenge assignment of the whole summer. So that's all part one. And then for part two, it's the actual Crunch Labs Build Box toys. And of course, you guys all know this by now, but I designed these Build Box toys with my team right here at Crunch Labs to help you think like an engineer. So they come in the mail, and when you open it, there's a video from me where we not only build it together, but I teach you all the juicy physics for how your toy works. Now normally they come every month, but with Camp Crunch Labs, we give you the option for an accelerated program where they could come every week so your brain stays stoked through the entire summer. And what kind of toys are we talking about? Well right here you got a bubble maker where we're learning about surface tension. For you pranksters out here, here's a trip wire you can get your siblings with where we learn about momentum transfer. We learn all about the light spectrum with the coolest kaleidoscope you've ever seen. For this homemade squirt gun, not only could you shoot your siblings' parents with it, but then when you secretly turn this knob here and then hand it to them, they shoot themselves. That's where we learn all about pressure. Here's this super cool five dart rapid fire crossbow. Yes! This is a treasure chest that's locked and you create your own key and when you get it just right, you get access to your secret stash. You're actually building all of these as you learn about them. Here's a really cool drawing machine where we learn about leakages. This is the air ball game where we learn about Kawanda effect. We got a wrist mounted paper airplane launcher where we learned about springs. This really awesome ski ball bouncing game where we learn all about counting mechanisms. And possibly my personal favorite, the disc launcher, where we learn all about the engineering principle of flywheels. Yes! So if all that sounds cool, tell your parents to visit campcrunchlabs.com so they can learn more. All right, with that, let's get to this week's mega experiment. Start by switching out this table. Ah, and now, we just gotta find out who our special guest is. Michelle! Hey, Mark. Michelle is an actual NASA engineer from a very special place in my heart. The Jet Propulsion Lab. That's right. I design, build, and test systems that are mechanisms that are driven by some kind of input power, often actuators. To send to space? Yes, everything's going to space. Well, this is perfect, Michelle, because today we're talking about the science of friction and specifically how to reduce it. We're gonna need some campers. Hey, campers! Hey, Mike! We got Donnie, give me some, and Ray. Rainbow. You guys excited to do some science? Yes. yes. What's your favorite subject in school? Science. Science. Yes. You're not just saying that, are you? No. No. Okay. It's really fun. Today, we're talking about friction. Here's the question. I have two Hot Wheels cars here. The only difference between these two is one has wheels 
and one doesn't. Which one of these has more friction? Without the wheels. Without. Yeah, more friction, it can't go as much, right? Michelle, you have to deal with this in space, right? All the time. If you want things to move, you want to minimize friction as much as possible. And that's why we invented the wheel. Wheels are really nice for removing friction. And different surfaces interact differently to have different amounts of friction, right? So if I spin this little crunch lab circle, it doesn't really spin that well. Now though, I'm gonna put it in this little Ooh. vase of ping pong balls, right? Uh. Low friction or high friction? They act like wheels. So. They act ah. like wheels, that's what they're saying. Let's see if that's true. Three, two, one. No wow. way. <laughs> they act like wheels. I love that statement. Well, we're moving our way down this table because I have something very satisfying. First of all, just stick your hands in there. <gasps> Doesn't that feel so... <laughs> <laughs> it's like all the benefits of slime with none of the deaths. Yes, yes. So if I take these and I pour them here. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> whoa. Talk about satisfying. So okay, awesome. help me spread these out. Oh, wow. Now feel this. Wow. Oh, really nice. Oh, my God. So I can live on this. <laughs> now if we take our same piece of wood, and spin it. Low friction or high friction? Very low friction. Very low. Yeah. Woo! Oh, that's even more satisfying. Are you ready to get real satisfied? This is the diamond play button. Whoa. Donnie, hold that. Oh, oh wow, it's <laughs> heavy. Now, when we spin this, what do you think will happen? Do you think it's gonna spin longer or less long than this? Less. Less. Okay, we think less long. Here we go. Let's spin this. Let's see how long it spins. <laughs> Oh, wow. It ends up spinning a lot longer because it just has more inertia, we, as we say. It's packed with more atoms. So, but as you slide this around, <gasps> isn't that just so great? Wow. But this is almost like being in space where you just need a little push and then it just... Oh, yeah. Just kind of glide, so right? Cool. So like, Michelle, when we're sending something to Mars, are the rockets on the whole time? Absolutely not. We just need to get away from the gravitational pull of Earth. Basically, momentum just keeps you going. You just glide <laughs> to Mars yeah. for nine months. We use ball bearings a lot at work. They act like little wheels running around the race instead of sliding. Fact, Michelle, we have one right here. Does this look familiar? Where have yeah. you seen yes. this? Like um, fidget spinners. Fidget spinners. <laughs> Fidget spinners have ball bearings in the middle, and it's literally what Michelle said. It's just an inner race and an outer race, That's an inner layer and an hour oh. layer. In fact, this episode is in honor of the Stomp Rocket Ooh. for Crunch Labs, because you'll notice right here, how do we get this thing to spin so well? The ball bearing. Ball bearing. The We've got a one. ball bearing, the exact same one here. So when you put that at the middle of the hub, and then you spin it up, well now, Donnie, you want to do the honors? Oh, you get, okay. You get six tries, and don't miss it, Donnie, because oh, no. that would be embarrassing. A lot of okay. people are going to see this. The pressure's on. Oh. Yeah, one, three. Oh, hey. Yeah, you only missed wow. two. I saw it, you missed two. <laughs> I did, I did. Well, if you guys think this is cool, in true Crunch Labs fashion, we are leveling this way up in the room next door. And I heard, actually, you, can you guys ride a certain something? Yes. Okay, go get that certain something. I heard a rumor about this. What the heck? Oh. What? <laughs> get out of here. A unicycle? If there's two together, are they a bicycle? Oh, yeah. I don't know how to process <laughs> this. Is this. True. I've tried this multiple times. It's ended poorly every time. Okay, follow us. Follow us. Oh, yay. Happy. <laughs> Ta da! No! Yay! 3.5. Million of the airsoft babies. <laughs> this is like a sea of it. Remember the diamond play button? Oh no. Think it'll go? Let's see. <laughs> that is satisfying. Wait for it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm just warning you. It is very, <laughs> very <laughs> slippery. <laughs> I'll send it back. You can do it. Here we go. <laughs> it's still going. Boom. That's wow. so cool. That is cool. Ah! All right, everything we do at Crunch Labs is safe. So I think we need a safety gear up. You guys ready? Yes. Ah! <laughs> 
Onwards! Oh yeah, you guys are like ice skating. God, I feel like a grandmother. <laughs> Okay, time for a race. This oh, is a little unfair because it's three against one, but Ooh. I like a challenge. Three, two, one. Ooh. I got that. Ah. 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 Yeah. Ah. 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 And I yeah. win. Yeah. Thank you, Mark Rober. It looked really fast. Wow, the world is spinning. So beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> this is a good old fashioned jump. Three, two, one. We're going bowling. All right, here we go, Rainbow. Don't let me down. Oh, go! Come on! Oh, no! Oh, yeah! Yeah! Come on! Oh, no! Yeah! Let's clean it up for him. And in the process, take out your brother. What? Yeah! Everyone's okay? Yeah. yeah. All right, campers, back to your treehouse. Get the heck out of here. Way past your bedtime. Michelle, you're a legend. I've never been so appreciative of friction before. Yes, I will never take it for granted. How do I get out of here? I got you. All right, time to go issue the super challenge. The only problem with the infinite BB floor you get like an infinite amount of BBs in your shoe. <laughs> All right, so for the first official at-home super challenge of the summer, your assignment is to make a toilet paper hallway laser maze or some kind of obstacle course in and around your house. Now this is the only carryover super challenge from last year, but I wanted to start off with one where we had some really good examples like you can see here. So make sure you work with your parents and get their permission and be safe. And then once it's filmed, visit campcrunchlabs.com to submit it. I will see every single one of these. So if you've ever wanted to show off your building skills to me or show me how creative you are, this is your chance. And heck, if it's my favorite of the summer, you might just win this bad boy. Now normally this year, you have one and a half weeks, but this week, because it's compressed, you only have five days. That's until the end of day on Wednesday. So get cracking. And then of course, to really make this your least boring summer ever, work with your parents to visit campcrunchlabs.com to learn more about getting these weekly build boxes that go along with the weekly videos. Between making the toys and doing the challenges, you're basically gonna be an engineer by the time you head back to school. All right, campers, well that's it for this week. So go get to work on your super challenge and putting your build box together. And then I'll catch you next week for the live episode at 8 a.m. Pacific, right here at Camp Crunch Labs. Careful here. Whoa, gosh! Who's in charge of cleanup around here?